morning. Today is Thursday, July the 19th, 2018. It's 9 o'clock in the morning and maybe 69 degrees maybe, I'm just guessing. It's a nice morning. Jill is raising caterpillars that turn into butterflies. And they mark butterflies. There's one. Oh, right there. And there's two right up there. there. You can kind of see them. I'm trying mm -hmm. to get the light on them. Yeah. There. There's yeah. three of them. And then yeah, there they are. There's a big And she grows guy. milkweed for them to eat. Down here. Oh, there yeah, has one. That's his face. That's a good one. Mm -hmm. And they'll turn into monarchs, right? Mm-hmm. Monarch butterflies. Yep, yep. Okay. You see them, Larry? My eyes are not that good. Yeah, they're... Uh, you can she's just got some bigger ones there. there, and then she's got some little tiny babies. Is that a milkweed plant? Yep. You Swamp wouldn't believe the ones that we pulled up on the... You, you see them underneath the blueberry bushes that I pulled up? Oh, was that what those were? Those were milkweed. Oh, you should have left thousands those. thousands of... They just took them... They must be eight feet tall. I, they grew like... I had stickers on it there, all blackberry vines, and I sprayed them around up, and now all the milkweed came up. It, what, do you know what I guess it's milkweed because you break it off and that white stuff just gets all over you. Generally, yeah. It, okay. I mean, it could be something else, but... Well, it's got a little white flower, not flowers, but the fluffy stuff that floats away. Mm -hmm. uh, that's, that's milkweed. We should have saved one, should have kept one already. or two for the butterflies. Well, and, uh, Didn't think didn't about know. it. No, but they're already... They're already um, Floating away, you got no, already, already gone to seed. What do you call them? Gone to seed, like yeah. little parachute things. Uh, yeah, they yeah. just—I mean, they're all. If they come up in the backyard, the whole backyard is going to be full of them. I'm trying to figure out how to make this so they can figure out how to get from one place to another. Oh, from one to another. Mm-hmm. Now you're just trying to keep them alive so the worms are on there. Yeah. Or are you trying to? And she's got them? individual babies in these. Individual baby worms. You pulled them off the milkweed. I brought, I brought them in as as eggs. Oh, as eggs, mm -hmm. and they hatched. And oh. they hatched, and yeah, they when they're little. Let's see if oh here he is. Well, how'd you learn to do all that? Go online. Yeah, he's right there. I see him. Yep. Well, I'll be darned. He's moving around. So they must come before it goes to seed and everything, and then leave. Well, they'll, right. they'll grow on it even if it's going to seed, but... Well, how big do they get? The caterpillars will yeah. get, like, pinky size. Okay. And then they make a chrysalis and... Well, I'll have to leave them alone for now on. Then. Eh, it's... I'm just... And this something. leaf looks pretty good, so I'm just adding some more. Another one so it has a couple and of leaves. And these all have them in there? Yep. It's my little factory here. Well, now you're going to be able to raise them until they get wings? I'm going to try. If all else fails, I'll take them out and put them on the plants if I can't deal oh, with I it. Oh, the chrysalis? Uh, yeah, I'll just I'll put it on a plant and we'll hope for the best. And I don't see anything there. Where are you? Probably during the night when they get their wings and then go. <laughs> this is where it gets weird trying to find them hidden down in here because as you saw they're really really tiny there you are that one's getting big oh yeah <laughs> <They're> growing <laughs> must grow fast these have been inside for about a week i think these have mm -hmm. what is don't they they don't have to go into a cocoon like a they will. They'll, they will? Well, they won't make a cocoon. They do. But well, you know, go in dormant stage, the I guess. Chrysalis and, and like to... two weeks later, they come out and they're all... Well, you must have checked up on the uh, internet all that stuff. Yes. I'm crazy like that. Well, that's good. Okay, there's good. Good. That, they're pretty, pretty butterflies. They are. This one's still an egg. Oh, it that one's still an egg? Yet. It's still an egg. Egg. So you got different it should pages. probably hatch today. It's just a little egg. Oh wow! That, is that oh, it? Uh huh. That little dark spot. Oh, they're wow. white when they when they first laid. They're white, but then they. So it's not a cluster of eggs. They just lay individual eggs. 
they would just lay like one egg here and then okay, they try to not do in a cluster. one per plant, I think is the mom's theory that she spreads them out so they don't decimate the plants. Oh, I got you. Okay, that one's and really tiny, so that should be okay. You don't forget your one there. That's interesting. I don't have the patience, but that's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done this before. Yeah. Um, you have process of learning too. Man. So I'm figuring it out as I go along. I had one that climbed up out to the outside of the... Huh. And it was that little, like, little so, teeny smaller than that. So kinda. you get, you got to look beyond the leaves then. Yeah, although these are staying pretty close mm -hmm. to their hatching yeah. spot. They eat their egg and then they start eating the leaf around no, them. Yeah, that's a pretty good size one right there. Mm -hmm. I hope you don't step on any. <laughs> oh my goodness. They have about a 5 to 10% chance of living to growth out there. And Boy, here, it, if you bring them in, it average. raises their chances. The monarchs are so in danger right now. Okay, where mm -hmm. are you? There you are. So they don't mind it when it's cold like that then? Mm -hmm. They don't seem to care of temperature. Well, when you put the cover on there, it Oh, it the cover just it makes keeps a lot it, of difference. And, and they don't use a lot of oxygen, so okay. um, some people keep them in little like condiment cups. Oh, so other people have done it. That's how you got into it. That's okay. how I got into it is because other people that? were doing it. And I was like, well, that's interesting. So this one's making a break for it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's left his leaf. How about that? He's left his leaf, so he's. Well, he'll gonna, probably go back to it. He's cross country. I'm going to give him some new leaves to go to, since he seems to be adventuring this way. Huh. What I like is the, the on ETV they showed all them was millions of them go to Mexico and hanging on the trees, just on hanging on top of one another. That would be so amazing to see. <clears throat> okay. And when they're all flying and they migrate. Yeah. That would be something too, just when they showed down. that. On the, uh, mm -hmm. the people that was tracking them mm -hmm. would try to get ahead of them and watch them as they go over because they got a certain pass they go over. Okay, mm -hmm. they're ready to go. That's dirty. This is dirty. Okay. Now I'll leave out of here. Right? Uh, uh, There's uh, four. One, two, three. Did you take the pills? Four. Okay. If he's not smart enough to figure out that there are more leaves above him, he doesn't deserve to live. It's just my theory. Yeah, it's um, natural selection. <laughs> Putting new towels in their home. Putting a little dampness in. It's in particular, but... Uh, let's do that. If I was smart, yes. Okay. So these guys are ready to go back in their habitat. I put these in like two or three days ago. So oh, okay. this leaf is still so good. Is, so I just added some fresh. So we do it again Sunday, maybe Saturday, Sunday? Yeah. You kids are ready to go back up here. I think when they finish, they would go hunting, mm -hmm. crawl up surfaces to look for new places to eat. Can you go online and just put water on? Oh, no. <laughs> but I want to keep it damp enough that they don't dry out. And she saw it like go to a drop of moisture and start drinking. Oh. Well, like I said, um, feel free to give them a call and be able to do anything. I don't want to text you. And so he'll call us when you're out of surgery, right? Yep. Fletcher's being a good boy in his kennel. I'm going to let him out. You want to come out, Fletcher? You want to come out? There we go. You don't have to stay in there. You don't have to stay. He's a good boy. You're looking for a neighbor's dog? Now he has a friend.
We're supposed to pick up the other one while he's gone, so you can... There he comes. All right, one more time. You ready? Okay. okay. Pull me out. <laughs> Here it goes. You ready? Let's go. Whee! You got it. Laura's taking a shower, so I made a salad for dinner. There's Fletcher. Fletcher's got a better toy, a different toy. He got kind of bored with the frisbee. Neighbor dogs are out. I think he's interested in the other dogs. Fletcher likes to stand over the van after he's been outside running and got hot. Smart dog. Now he cooks up where he's got hamburger steak. Onions and uh, red potatoes. It smells so good, especially those onions. Well, it's a little after eight time to get my video. Like you're sitting in a chair keeping watch. Jill had her surgery and everything went pretty good. She's staying in the hospital tonight and plans to be home tomorrow, hopefully. Good night. God bless.